Hi, hello, and hey. Hi, hello, hey. Hi, hello, hey, guys. Hi, hey, hi, hello. I don't know. Hey, guys. <laughs> Madeline Rebecca here. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. There must be something. Today we are going to be doing an updated nighttime routine with me. And why are we doing it today? These babies just came in the mail. We have our ordinary toner, caffeine solution, and our buffet serum. So, I'm going to shower really quick. I'm back. Took me a long time, but I had to pay for myself. We're going to the beach this weekend, so... But yeah, let me brush my hair because I look like I'm bald and I really don't want to do the video this way. And I have confident issues later, so I'll do my intro whenever my hair is brushed. Okay guys, hair is brushed and let's get started. So like I said, welcome back to my channel. My name is Madeline Rebecca. I post once a week and last time I did this video, I was really scared that like, I thought I heard somebody like in my house and I was truly like, like oh, I'm nervous to be in front of the camera and, and I just moved to Florida, what if my family? Yeah, and I really could care less right now. So let's get this done. First, let's start off with what I do to wash my face. Cause I didn't do it in the shower because you're not supposed to because of the water and the heat. And I mean, I get it, but at the same time, like I'm lazy. So like, it's really beneficial, but I didn't do it for you guys. So, you know, you can thank me later. Anyway, I think there's a hair in that does not look like mine. Anyway, so this is what I use. I use the CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser. Just a little preview of my face. So I have acne prone, sensitive, dry, and oily skin. Yes, I did say all that stuff in one sentence. Um, yeah, I literally, I have the worst luck whenever it comes to acne i've had acne since fourth grade i've done everything except accutane because my friend did it and then her acne came right back and like me and her both have acne right now so i'm not going to go through accutane if it's not worth it that's my personal opinion no need to do anything you know whatever if it's worked for you it's worked for you but yeah i was i used to go to a dermatologist and i felt like they were just like throwing crap at me so i could spend money um and then whenever i went to college i just kind of tried to do stuff on my own started doing tea tree oil on my face and like that helped a little bit but i still had acne and yeah and it's just been a journey ever since then and then i moved to florida in may and i was jobless for four months i was jobless for four months and so i decided to make my job figuring out a routine for my life so i started working out and i have a workout routine and now i have a skincare routine so it has changed about two Why is it every time I make a face video or a routine video, something happens? It was literally just my dryer, but it took me a second to realize that why would they turn on the... That thing has never been on. I do know it's an option. That's why I knew the sound. It took me a second one and two, they've never had that on. So I don't know if that was like a sign for me to take the stuff out of the dryer. I was using Cetaphil before I got here, um, which really helped my skin, but it stopped. Um, and I don't even want to say help. At one point I had no acne, which was really great, but I think it was kind of just like water. I don't really know if it did anything. And then whenever I moved down here, I was still breaking out bad and I will insert pictures here. But yeah, I was breaking out really bad. So I just, I feel like I needed more. So then I switched to the CeraVe salicylic acid. And I think that that was too much for my skin. Um, I just, I went to a allergist once to figure out if that was my acne issues. Cause I'm telling you, like, I take this really seriously. The day that I don't have a pimple is the day that I'll be happy. And I've always said, I'll never get married unless I don't have acne. So like 22 and I'm really, I'm not ready to get married. Don't get me wrong. But like, I am ready to look pretty. I don't know. Anyway. Um, but like, so I went to the allergist and he said that he didn't believe in being allergic to food and that making you break out. So like he didn't believe in dairy like intolerances anyway whatever he did all the tests on me and the only thing that they found out was that i had sensitive skin waste of money waste of time i will tell you though this made me think that maybe i don't have acne prone skin maybe i'm just sensitive skin one time i used my friend's makeup and i broke out literally 10 minutes later 10 minutes of my friend's makeup being on my face so maybe i just have sensitive skin so i figured okay well i saw this girl and she had really sensitive skin and she used this so might as well give it a try 
So anyway, let's get started before I just talk about my acne for 10,000 years. So I just do one little squirt and I just rub it in my face. I'll probably try to like zoom through this so you guys don't like watch me detailed, but make sure you go really, really slow and you go in circles and try not to press too firmly because wrinkles. Okay, so whenever I'm done, I just wash it off with my hands. I try and I'm trying not to use a washcloth because it's apparently supposed to do really bad things for your skin. So that is that. I'm going to move this over. Okay. So ugh, I got stuff in my eye. Um, but that's that. And then I get a towel that was clean. And I just dab <laughs> but seriously dab do not rub super bad for your skin so this is the fun part we get to try something new together be right back these are my reusable um cotton rounds i wet it a little bit and then i squeeze it just to make sure that it absorbs everything um, i have about six of these and i wash it like i make sure i use it about two times I, like i use it once wash use it once wash and then sometimes i use it again and then i put it in the um, washing machine in a little tiny bag we had to like, get a lingerie bag from walmart but that's what i wash it in so i i mean i think it's really cool do i think it's easy no but is it saving the planet yes so do i really care about easy no okay so i guess i have to put this thing together cycle up she is beautiful look at that she is beauty she's grace so I guess I have to put this top on that's unique oh you can use this to travel what? I wonder if that's why they did it ordinary if that's obvious you know like <laughs> Does it do it every like five minutes? Well, I'm filming a video. Watch it be like something actually bad. Anyway, this is exciting. So I've never used this. I don't even know what I'm doing. <gasps> never mind. So it can't be for travel because you can twist it. So I guess I can throw, I guess, okay. I'm gonna throw the cap away. I was wrong. Now, ordinary, if you want to take my advice, it would be cool if you use that also for travel stuff, but you were already a step ahead and you can twist. So I'm sorry I've been trying to tell you what to do. So I hope this um, toner helps. I read that like in life, you really don't need a toner. So like, you know, that hurts. They said that the less sometimes can be the better. And all the other stuff is just added to help your skin, but also can harm it, you know, as far as like breaking out. But like the serums and the vitamin C stuff, like those, that's all good for your skin. Don't get me wrong, but like, is it necessary? No. Um, but like, I love having a skincare routine and I, like I said, I was jobless. So that could be a reason why I loved it too, so much too. But like, I had to figure something out to do with my time. So I don't know. It makes me feel like I am productive, even if I'm not being productive. So anyway, so I wash this off. I will, I will keep you guys posted on how that works, but either way, I'm just sharing what I do right now. If I want to dab it up with the cake. Okay. So got the ordinary. This is a nice cinnamon. I get a little tiny squirt. And don't forget, ladies, we hit. And by hit, I mean pat. Do not hit your face. Do not say that you watch this YouTube video and she told you to. But yeah, we just press it in firmly. Kind of burns tonight because um, I popped my face a lot. And I'm realizing that I only pop my face because I'm bored. So like, that's a real bummer. <laughs> So that's that. But I let it sit in my face for a second. I don't go straight to the stuff. But this is also part of the routine that I read on. So I'm using this buffet. Um, and this is also new. So once again, pray that this works out for me because the hydraulic acid did not. I think that's the right word. It's wrong. Go ahead below. Oh, I can't even bend. I did a hot sculpting yoga, which sounds like super. BA. but anyway did a hot sculpting yoga and it was like heated in the room and it was half working out with weights and half actually doing yoga and i still can't walk 
so just letting you know and it was at 5 30 in the morning and i felt such like i i had my life together anyway then i'm gonna go in with this buffet i have faith in ordinary you know i really do same thing pressing it in please don't break me out i really i'm putting so much faith in you right now so then i'm gonna go in with my capping solution and I think that this will work out. This is, I'm just gonna put it underneath my eyes. And it's supposed to help plump your eyes. I'm genuinely excited about this stuff. So if it doesn't work out, I'm gonna be really upset. And all their, their things are just so pretty, which I mean, if it makes you break out, like the pretty aspect shouldn't matter. But I just got like a little tiny pea size. Then I go in with my daily moisturizing lotion. I love this bad B. Um, I used the CeraVe PM lotion and I didn't like it, to be honest. I like the, just the regular daily moisture resolution. Make sure that you put it on your neck. And this is a long video. I hope you guys like are happy. Are we getting to know each other better? All right, so after that, I go in with my final step. This is my favorite step. I might have to take it out because this is the unnecessary step, but my haboga oil and my whatever rolling, I don't even know what you call that, but it's my little facial. I get a little squirt. I hit, 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 hit. Put the rest in the back of my hair because that's also really good for your hair. Wash that off my hands, and then I roll. And I do only upward motions for about two minutes. That actually, I'd be lying if I said two minutes, because let's be honest, I get bored really easily. And if you see anything wrong with my routine, I mean, literally, do not, like, I'm not gonna care if you say, hey, dude, like, you're stupid. I mean, don't call me stupid, but like, I understand. And last but not least, I go in with my Athea lip mask. I actually just got this the other day. Flavored. I make sure I put it on my lips. And I sleep in it and I take it off in the morning. But I love it. And actually, if you use my code, you get a discount on it. I think it's like 20% off or something like that. So get a little bit of a discount and it's really nice. And it is expensive, but it's so worth it. And it's a luxury brand. So I'll make sure to put it down in the bio, um, but make sure you put my code in and you check out their stuff. Even if it's not this, they have a lot of plumping masks for your lips and then they have um, some other face stuff. Anyway guys, that is my skincare routine, nighttime edition. Don't know what I'm gonna do for the morning. Like I don't know if I'm gonna incorporate the toner um, and if I'm gonna do the buffet, comment down below if that's what you do. Um, because genuinely I really do need help, but like subscribe. Let me know that you're watching Thank you so much for being here, and I will see you guys next week. Bye